tough to keep up with. Yes. But just come try. Yes. All right, switching gears. A high school basketball player is getting some national support after being ruled ineligible by the Alabama High School Athletic Association. Yeah, her senior year. Dia Davidson joins us now with the buzz. Hey, ladies. Well, ESPN college basketball analyst Jay Phyllis, along with NBA and former UK star DeMarcus Cousins, are speaking out using social media to support Maori Davenport. You see, she's a Rutgers basketball signee. The AHSAA suspended Davenport last month. The case stems from a payment she received from USA Basketball for playing for Team USA in a tournament in Mexico City last August. The $900 payment is allowed by NCAA rules, but it's not according to the AHSAA's amateur rules. USA Basketball realized the mistake and told Davenport's high school, as well as the Athletic Association. Now, she returned the check but the Athletic Association still will not reverse its ruling. Mm. This is crazy. This is crazy. I don't, it doesn't make sense to anyone. And if, if you watch the UK game on Saturday against Alabama, no. yeah. Jay Billis was doing it. He talked about this for a few minutes Did during he? the game. Yeah, he brought oh, it wow. up. Right. Um, and so that's the first I'd really heard right. of it. Right. But it just, it doesn't make sense. And especially she returns Turns the check. check. Yeah, and exactly. And honestly, exactly. even if she didn't, I mean, she's playing for our country. Come on. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a massive amount of money. Uh, no. Yeah. And the thing about it is, is student athletes, I just, I have always been a proponent of them being paid. Mm -hmm. They make so much money for the schools that they mm -hmm. represent and it's just only the right thing to do for yeah. them because a lot of them are coming from you know environments and families that don't mm -hmm. have a lot mm -hmm. this can help to supplement and it's it's like a job for them so mm -hmm. why yeah. give them a hard time yeah, yeah. so that, I mean senior year of high school yeah. I know that's important to her and she's lucky yeah. she's already signed I mean they said she's already signed mm -hmm. to Rutgers Rutgers but she's gonna right. miss out on so many memories yes. this senior year and opportunities to improve her game but think if this was someone else another player who wasn't signed yet and now they're not going to have a chance to be seen by any life altering exactly. for that person. Yeah. Exactly. So hopefully they'll rethink this because this is just, it's stupid. It really it's is. Stupid. Yeah. It, it just put it right out there. There, there, there you go. It. You heard well, it here this first. This one is the other word. This is sweet. <laughs> Some generous people came to the aid of hundreds of stranded soldiers. Winter weather conditions stranded about 700 soldiers at Will Rogers World Airport in Oklahoma City last week. Well, the group was headed to Fort Sill Army Base. It's about 90 mi minutes away, but the difficult weather kept buses from making the trip. Many of the soldiers spent the night sleeping on the floor in the airport baggage area. Once folks around there heard about the soldiers being stranded, many along with the Oklahoma City mayor braved the icy conditions and brought meals and snacks to these soldiers. Well, they were able to get on the road the next morning. Yes, oh, that's, that's awesome. what it's all about. These yeah. young people are out there risking their lives mm -hmm. for us and sleeping on the floor, my gosh, of the yeah. airport. And so then, I, you know, it's just wonderful to hear people coming together to it do is. that. Yeah, that's kind of awesome. interesting seeing them all laying there, though. It looked like everybody was, like, out. They probably yeah. slept in much worse conditions. That's true. true. So they were just like... <laughs> True. Fine. True. <laughs> but yeah, they got fed, That's and probably so many people while they were there giving them that food were saying thank you, thank you for what you're doing and for our country. And that means so much to these service personnel, you know, just to know that their service is not in vain. So that's an awesome one. And here's another one: the New Year's underway, of course, with many of us setting a New Year's resolution to lose weight. And Lee was talking about it at the Good Foods Co-op. But when it comes to reducing the pounds, experts say diet is far more important than exercise. An investigator for the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases says the average person burns 5 to 15 percent of their daily calories through exercise. Not only that, exercise increases your appetite and that could sabotage all those sit-ups and crunches that you are <coughs> doing, yes, of course. And according to Harvard Medical School, a 185-pound person burns about 200 calories in 30 minutes of walking. All that could be undone by eating four chocolate chip cookies or one and a half scoops of ice cream, which can, of course, improve your mood. So while experts <laughs> say exercise is important, diet is much more important. Lifestyle factor with moderation, moderation, moderation being key with both. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You got to do the combo. You can't just do one or the other. It's you got to do both. But, and also think, you know, it's just if you just don't live like a sedentary lifestyle, you know, yeah. if you just are, you don't have to go out and just lift something. tons of weights or do a marathon. But if you just try to keep a little active and you eat all right, yeah. maybe you'll be okay. You <laughs> the buzz. Stay with us. You're watching The Four. We'll be right back.